In this installment of the VIP Test Modeler 101 training series, we're going to be looking at exploring created test cases. By the end of this session, you will be able to review test cases, download data sheets, and export tests to Microsoft Excel. So let's jump into Test Modeler and start exploring test cases. So we're back in our login flow here. Now to view test cases, all you have to do is go to the test generation panel and hit the test button here. What you'll see is the side button on the right hand side appears and this is where we can navigate for each of our tests to view the associated parts. Now inside Test Modeler we have the concept of profiles which can have different coverage criteria. And you'll see here as I'm flicking through the different profiles the test cases we have underneath them are adjusting. Within each coverage profile and looking in the test panel at the top here you'll see we have a history. This shows me a historical reference of all the tests that have been generated. So I performed two test generations. One was at 25 past 7 and then there was another one at 25 past 7 as well. So this allows me to go backwards in time and view the tests that I have. Every time I hit generate a new set gets added to my history. Now, in terms of the buttons we have here, we have a run button, which can be used to go off and run some test cases inside my automation server. We'll be touching on this in the automation training series. For now, we're going to be interested in these two buttons here. So firstly, we have one to download automation. Now, if we do this download, what you'll see is that it comes with a series of spreadsheets. The first two here are automation related spreadsheets which contains the definition for my automation actions. The top two here are associated with my data. If I open up the data template sheet, what you'll see if I go to the data sheet is this contains my test data definitions for each of my free test cases that we'd created inside Test Modeler. So we'll see here underneath we have the synthetic data generation functions which have been resolved. If we go back to Test Modeler here, we'll see there's an export button. If I select that, this is where we can export our test cases to various systems and various connections. At the moment, we've only got two connections set up, which come as default with Test Modeler, which are Excel and Gherkin. We're going to select the Excel exporter and we'll click export. And we'll see this has come back with um, a completion message for our test cases being exported and there's an XLS file here that we can download. So let's open that up and have a look. And what we'll see here is our tests have been exported in a flat file format. So we have each of our three tests defined on the left hand side with the test steps in between. So that's how we can export into Microsoft Excel. We can also go in here and we can verify the test suite which will let us know if any tests have become invalid because a block or an edge which passes through that test has been deleted. Also, we can go through here and we can manually add a path. So we may have a case where we want to manually create a test case. This is where I could come in and I could say manual test. All I have to do then is click on the processes, click add, and you'll see this is manually creating a path for us here. and we'll click save. And we'll see our manual test now appears. So just a quick video to go through the concept of coverage profiles and what the different buttons do within the test cases window. Thanks for watching this video. Any questions, please email james.walker at curiosity.software.